steroids, but he would do every other drug in the world. He would just never try steroids. <laughs> and he bought. He tried. He he bought D ball once, but the guy stole his money and never brought it to him. So then he would. He never thought about it again. Yeah. Like how <laughs> bullshit could you like? Could you make a more bullshit story, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how fucking stupid is that story? <laughs> I was ready. I was like, oh, it, it's gonna do everything for me. It's gonna give me all my games. Yeah, I wanted. Here's 150 bucks. Sure. And then the guy stole my money, so that I never thought yeah, about it again. That's it. Yeah. Bullshit. Come on. Probably went even harder. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was like, "Fuck it, I'm going for Trent." <laughs>Jason, we're the Table Monkeys, and today we are going to do another arm PR uh, attempt here. Yeah, so, this one, the, the pronation challenge, like static, cold. hammer, curl, lift kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> obviously there's been some controversy on how the lift gets done, as always, because that's kind of the point of this whole thing, I think, in the end. It's important um, that it's standardized, so yeah. we all know what to do. Yeah, exactly. And coming from like a powerlifting background, like standardizing a 1RM is kind of like the whole point of the game. So in, uh, like, with a squat, one of the things that everybody uh, is a big deal with the squat is hitting parallel, which means your hip joint goes below your knee joint. So we think that like looking at the joints is the main thing that you got to be looking at with these lifts. So with this lift, you don't you, you want your forearm to be parallel to the floor, which basically means that you want if you were to go the center of your wrist joint to the center of your elbow joint and draw a line, you want that line to be parallel with the floor. If your wrist joint goes above your elbow joint or below your elbow joint, should be a bad lift. And since it's a pronation lift, if your wrist gets turned over in any way, that should be a bad lift. So those are the things that we're yeah. judging the lift on. And, right? and having your elbow up, your arm up here or down here really affects the lift. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna keep it super strict so we can be very honest with ourselves and yeah, exactly. how much we can lift in this. Which probably isn't too much because we're we're really sore from Sunday practice. But, but uh, we gotta get in on the yeah. hype and make the list. So uh, here we go. Okay, so 25 pounds on the bar. I'm just going to demo it um, before we get into all our warm-ups. So I'm getting my feet into kind of like a squat position right beside the, the plates. And I'm going to grab it in that neutral um, or parallel position with my forearm. And then I'm going to get nice and low. And I'm just going to squat up and try and, try and maintain the pronation in my hand and the, the same angle. So like that. Bit higher for your wrists. Like that? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, don't, yeah. You don't even have to, like, uh, it's a weird one. Want to be part of the hype? Oh, God. So perfect. Trying. Working on it. I love the Hulk behind us, it's so perfect. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the rate doesn't have much left. It's a painful lift. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Fucking jacked, bro. This is a your left. Then don't do it. If it's if it's if it's not worth it, don't do it, bro. It's just, we we know this is a stupid lift. Right. Like, what are you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, dear. That was a success.
Yeah. Yeah. I think that was good, man. That looked good, yeah. yeah. You weren't anchoring your elbow and you kept your wrist, that looked good. Try it first and see if fucking fail. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, that's a good lift. It didn't move? No, that was good, man. Yeah. Solid. I was looking feel jacked. that. You feel that doing something that felt different, eh? Once you got heavy, it's like you feel it in your elbow a bit, and like yeah. that's good. Get the guns. Get it, get it deeper in your hand. Stand up. Don't curl. Yeah, Just yeah. Stand up. Nice. Yeah, buddy. How was it? Wrist was a little bit, yeah. Should find it on the lips. You alright? <laughs> Today. 95 pounds. No, I did 100. Oh. It's an even 100. This is. 100. The Plus the karate belt. If I don't get it, then. Uh, yeah, I guess Rob Vision weighed his karate belt and his carabiner. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently he doesn't do any drugs. Just drinks. Yeah. And got, and got robbed of trying to buy D-ball. Rob got robbed. Rob got robbed trying to buy D-ball, but he never did it. Hashtag, Hashtag, Hashtag bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. I just feel it opening up now. It's just like... It's the pronation. It is actually the thing that's giving up, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. I really didn't think it would be. Remember, just stand up. Don't worry about your arms. Just suck as hard as you can. Just stand up. If it goes, it goes. If it dies, it dies. Nice. Oh. Like it's off the ground. Yeah, I can feel it like dragging, but yeah. Yes, yes, yes! Oh. Oh, wow. I mean, it came off, but what, did I lose much? No, you didn't lose anything. You right? just didn't lock out your knees, but. I just didn't, I felt like I was gonna. It looked good. Like, oh, what's the criteria? You gotta stop it? No, it's just gotta come off the ground without losing your arm. Like, I, I, I went down because I knew I would, if I had it kept trying to stand up, I was gonna open my arm up. You did it. You didn't open up yeah, at all. all so that, was, that was a good lift, right? Can you um follow your filming? You got it, buddy. We ain't gonna miss this shit. Let's go! Great train coming through! Okay, so I managed to hit 75 on my right, up and two special. Um, maybe I could have hit 85 and it wasn't so sore, but I mean, that's questionable. <laughs> yeah, one thing that we noticed with this lift is it got hard really quick. Like, uh, like for me, 75 didn't feel like much. Like I felt like I had a lot more in the tank and then all of a sudden 85 was like, holy shit, this is actually pretty heavy. Yeah. Uh, I hit 95 uh, on my left. Maybe a little bit of pronation went uh, somewhere in the lift, so I don't know if it's 100% a good lift. We'll let John make the call. I think we were all pretty good with our elbow angle, like our forearm angle today, yeah. so. It's funny, we didn't, we didn't think it would attack our pronation as much as it would our breath, but it seemed like our pronation was, was the thing that was, was giving us. Yeah. And it's also us. when you're coming off the ground, it's the thing you feel like, you, I can feel it in my elbow and everything getting kind of like, 
yanked on in a weird way as I'm trying to come off the ground. So that was interesting. Uh, so far, the lifts have covered uh, riser and pronation. So yep. hopefully the next one is uh, cup base. That's what we're thinking. And we were just a suggestion. Obviously, you can <laughs> shoot it down if you want. We were thinking maybe something like static. So it's like time based. Yeah, so like maybe static hold for 10 seconds. Maybe like a cup from a, from a high position, hold it in for 10 seconds. And yeah. Something, something like, like that. that. But either way, it's on you. We love it. It's definitely bringing the community together and giving everybody something to argue about and fight over, which is awesome. Uh, so keep yeah. it up, and uh, we hope to make the list. And, and congrats to Rob, because I don't think anyone's beating that one. Yeah, 130. 130, that's pretty fucking ridiculous. Juice or not, whatever it is, that shit is fucking crazy. Beer or so, not. Yeah, or intoxicated, not. whatever it is, that was an awesome lift. So uh, RPR Lifestyle, see you guys next time. Feedback, comments. Share, hit that bell. Monkeys out. Peace. <laughs>